Hey ladies, it's Erica here. Welcome back to my channel. A really big part of what I want to do on this channel is to celebrate women. I want you guys to meet my friend Janelle. She has been such an inspiration to me. She's a mother of two beautiful young girls. She works from home and she owns her own small business selling plants that she propagates. Her house is a suburban jungle. You can actually follow her on Instagram. So today we're going to be going through her closet. She's gonna be sharing some of her style tips, where she shops, her favorite pieces, and then we're gonna go thrifting. Stay tuned till the end. We're gonna style up all of the looks. Make sure to like this video if you like it and subscribe down below if you haven't already. see her super cute outfits and I have wanted to raid her closet for a while. <laughs> All right, Janelle, so what are three words that describe your style? My style is pretty eclectic. I feel like my house is kind of that way too. Whenever I've shopped for clothes, I've always just picked what what's like visually pleasing to me and not necessarily what's in at the time. I grew up very much a tomboy, so I've I kind of in my older years have leaned hard into um, some of more feminine pieces. So I just went on a trip this week and when I looked at my suitcase, what I packed, it was mostly black or gray with pops of yellow and pink, whether it be a scarf or it be a shirt or my uh, vintage yellow hat <laughs> that I love so much. And I like, strangely enough, pairing yellow and red. So like this with even these red shoes so yeah, I, I tend to have anchors or the black, gray, or a jean paired with a, with a fun pop of color. <laughs> Any woman who has a developed sense of style, there's been like a time in their life where they've had this like defining moment. I feel like my defining moment was in high school when I realized I was just a jeans and a t-shirt girl all the time. And I wanted to wear more than that. I wanted to wear dresses and skirts and heels. and. So I kind of just had to make this decision of, okay, I'm going to wear things that are outside of my comfort zone because mm -hmm. I don't want to be boxed in yeah. when it comes to style. And people would tell me a lot like, oh, you're so dressed up. Like, especially my family, you're wearing heels. You're so dressed up. And I'm like, it doesn't have to be dressed up. Like, I get that a lot too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like dressed inappropriately. Yeah. But to me, it's yeah. just like what I, yeah. 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 So for you, did you feel like you had a defining moment? Yeah, I grew up very tomboy-ish. I was always like that bruiser of a kid playing in the dirt. And yeah, I, I grew up that way. And then I remember hitting around the teenage years. I always had like weird style, but it's kind of expressed itself in different ways. I kind of went through like a punk rock phase yeah, and would, like <laughs> sew my clothes together yeah. and sew patches on stuff that I got in trouble for. And I always did something funky, always. And, yeah. and I was always known as that whether it be a tomboy or the, the ones I started exploring more, would just do funky stuff with my mm -hmm. clothes. And then, gosh, I think I was maybe 16, and I got a gift card to Nordstrom Rack. And so I went and I found this white skirt with red polka dots, mm -hmm. but I got it because I wanted to try something different. I still wasn't comfortable with it because I still was very much like tomboy mm -hmm. and then, you know, sort of punk rock phase. And then I feel like that was the sort of turning point was mm -hmm. adding this little bit of femininity, this white skirt with red polka dots, and there was like this lace around the bottom of it and it was very thin but like and and flowy but even though i started by wearing it over a pair of jeans which was cool at the time um <laughs> yes i remember <laughs> yes you were, yeah yeah it was i feel like that was sort of my like okay i'm not defined by being a tomboy or mm. being or being like the girl that like yeah. sews weird stuff on her clothes or or does weird stuff with them so so yeah i'd, I'd probably say that yeah I love that, that answers your question. Yeah, that's awesome. I love that story. Can you show me a couple of your favorite pieces? One of my favorite skirts that I've had for years is this one. It's actually Zara. It definitely has some signs of wear, but, but I love it. This Madewell dress. 
the mix of two different fabrics, the silk bottom and then the woolly top. That's one of my favorite things when it comes to clothes is mixing either two different patterns or two different fabrics. Probably my favorite sweater that I get so many compliments on is just this really fuzzy wool sweater that actually I got from Target but it has served me well. Um, these are Clarks that I got in Ireland actually. And yeah, I love them. Just simple black Chelsea's. I'll probably pair it with a pair of yellow socks because I like another little pop of mm. color. I've actually always been afraid of red, but I've been liking that more lately. Mm. Actually since getting those shoes, I think it was last year. They're just Swedish clogs. They've gotten a lot of love. And I love this thing, the secret little Peter Pan collar that you can- Is that a dickie? Yes! Wait, let me see. <laughs> that you can just like add to, you know, I love it. Where did you get that? I got it on Amazon actually. <gasps> I love the look of the Peter Pan collar. Yeah. Like speaking of like just feminine, you know, it's just so fun. We'll link it below. Yeah. <laughs> I have a few silk shirts from Everlane that I love a lot, and I love to wear buttoned all the way at the top. Those silk shirts are, are so much fun. Lastly, I guess my Old Faithful <laughs> jean jacket. Yeah, I've had for quite a while. It's Gap. Yeah, I love it, this guy. He might not last much longer, but. So Janelle, what are your like top three places that you shop at? Yeah, I, I feel like I usually start with th a thrift store. Yeah, and those are always the places, at least for me, a good place to start because not only can you find like unique and one of a kind pieces, but you might find something that's not what exactly what you were looking for, but kind of what you needed. You mm. know? And those are really good, like fun, funky pieces to add to sort of the anchors that you might already have. Like these jeans are from Everlane. I love, I love, I love Everlane. Um, especially for a lot of their staple pieces, whether mm. it be a white yeah. t-shirt or a good pair of jeans or something. And Madewell has some good stuff too, mm -hmm. though I can't really afford like their stuff when it's not on sale or if mm -hmm. I don't find it secondhand. But it's a good starting point for what would more likely fit my taste. Well, I feel like we have very similar stores in common. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like my top three is like Thrifty, Everlane, and then Madewell. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so maybe that's why I like your style so much. Yeah. <laughs> we have the same taste. Is there anything that you want to hunt for on our thrift trip today? Yeah. I like being able to find those pieces that are fun and different, whether it be an accessory, like my favorite hat, or a scarf that you can add to something or a fun dress or skirt so probably something that I can add as another color to <laughs> to uh, my already colorful collection I know that's not very specific but so you're open I'm open I'm open Super cute. A little linen number. Square neck. So cute. We'll try it on. It definitely. Oh, <gasps> if yeah, yeah if everywhere it, else fits. So yeah. 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 Oh, everywhere else fits, just not the. Just bust. not. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, that's such an easy yeah. fix. Well, if you did really not want it. To it. I think you look adorable in it. Wow. What do you think? Yeah. If this was. More fitting, yeah. So this is the Zara dress. It's super cute. And I like how it has pockets. It is 
really one of a kind with this, the drop sleeve that pops out. And I love the, the print of it. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. And it looks cute with this little hat that I found. I like how it has the drawstring so you can pull it up. You can also wear it back. On your back, oh if you're not wearing it. Yeah, it's really cute. It's only $4.99, so I think I'm gonna get it. Yeah. Oh, that's cute. The color's really pretty. It's very clingy. Is it? But I guess that's good, considering you bend over. <laughs> yeah, I feel like if you styled it with like black pants or yes, a skirt. Yeah, I found this coat. This camel colored coat, it is an old navy coat. It has pockets on the side. It's pretty cute. And um, I also found a black one, so I'm not sure which one I wanna get. And I think Janelle wants to get one too, so we'll have to figure out who's gonna take which color home and <laughs> see what happens. I found this blouse. I thought it was really sweet with the little bow. So here's this sweet little top. With my pants. Cute, yes. The scarf was a good choice today. I feel like it's yes, been it going was. with everything. And I like the fabric on this. Thank you. It's very unique. Yes, I like that it's got a uh, detail to it. Shoes, hat, everything, an entire outfit. Entire outfit from Savers. Yeah, I think it's cute. It's very vacation to me. I think I'll take it when I go to Spain. And here's this checkered blouse with my Emmett wide leg jeans and then these sandals that I just found. <gasps> Ooh, nice. with your gold necklace? That's yes. gorgeous. I like the sleeve length. Yeah. The fabric is really pretty and it's a vintage, right? Ooh. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Wow. This is beautiful. I love it. You could wear it as a robe or you could wear it like kind of like a kimono open. Oh, it's so pretty. And it has a little tie in the back. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna get this. And because I already have a red kimono, I might just list this on my Depop. Ooh, wow, do a spin. Woo, it's a keeper, huh? I feel like maybe I mean, it would obviously with something else underneath. You had a, a longer torso. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's like, like loose up here. If but, this was like that, oh, look I at how it did, like. Yeah. If you, it already fits like so much better. Just tucking that. That'd be an easy alteration too. Oh my gosh! Now it's way cuter. I know. Turn around. Yeah. So cute. All right, so this is what I'm getting, the black jacket from Old Navy. I'm getting this gingham top and this linen skirt. And I'm getting this linen dress that I will either keep for myself and alter or sell to one of you guys because Janelle decided to pass on it. And then I'm getting this Zara dress. And Janelle decided to pass on this, and I just think it's too cute, so I am going to get it and hopefully sell it to one of you guys. I'm also going to get this sweet little robe and this sweet white cami, this hat, and these sandals. So, real boring, but um, just three very different. Nice. And the coat? And the coat, yes. It was so fun to see how Janelle decided to style up her looks. She paired the glittery shirt with this black skirt, her clerk boots, some necklaces from her grandma, and a vintage bag. She also layered on her trusty gap jacket. The white blouse she got, she decided to pair with her dark wash skinny Madewell jeans, her Swedish has-been clogs, and her super cute vintage yellow hat. The thrifted camel coat from Old Navy goes perfect with this outfit too. For this next look, Janelle decided to pair her beautiful silky blouse with this black pencil skirt and her tan clocks 
and her pearl necklace from her grandma. For this last look, she decided to make it more casual and pair it with her Madewell skinny jeans and shoes from Nordstrom Rack. Well, thank you so much, Janelle, for letting me hang out with you and go thrifting together. It was so much fun. I'm going to link as many items as I can from Janelle's wardrobe down in the bottom description box for you below. Last minute style advice, Janelle? Yeah, I would say wear whatever makes you feel comfortable, but also don't be afraid to try stuff that you think you wouldn't be comfortable in. Those are some great <laughs> words of advice from Janelle. So ladies, thank you so much for joining us today and remember that you're beautiful just the way you are. Bye! Bye.